anyway, uh, it, it has been a lot of fun. And uh, not only a lot of fun, Sean, but uh, we've both grown uh, spiritually and journeyed together. Uh, we've encouraged one another. It's, that's been really
station, but I'm sure if you search along with um, diligent prayer, you'll find a way through difficult times, and uh, you'll also find uh, blessing even in the joyful times in this book. So it's our uh, best, with our best wishes from the church here in Minnetonis that we present this to you, and uh, just pray that you would uh, have just all of God's richest blessings as you go through your very life together. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we've come to the parents. And, uh, one talks too much, one doesn't. If you mix it together, we should get a speech. <laughs> Only if he gets here. <laughs> well, I want to just say thank you all for coming out to this occasion. And it was a nice day after we had all that hot weather.
I showed up on Thursday night and I'm going, okay, what still needs to be done? And it's like, this is done, this is done, this is done, this is all that needs to be done. It was nice considering I still had to work on Thursday. Um, it's just been a, a real blessing having you all here. And uh, like I said, thanks for coming. Um, as it was in the bulletin, if you took pictures today, we'd really appreciate having copies of those just to add to our wedding album. And that way we'll have a greater collection of photos so we can actually remember this because I'm sure tomorrow morning I won't remember half of it. It'll be like the speech Sean gave at Tim and Kara's wedding two weeks ago where he, get, he, he asked me the next morning, what did I say? I was half asleep, I don't remember. <laughs> so hopefully you'll remember what you say now. Hello. everyone for coming and uh, uh, a bunch of my friends that that uh, I don't know about you guys but but they were camping right this that's dedication of friendship willing to live you know through a thunderstorm and lightning and rain and you know sunburns and, yeah well that's your fault though yeah. <laughs> SPF 30 is, is a good thing you know they're like I want to look and I want to get a tan and then they're out in the sun for 14 hours with you know SPF 2 you know yeah, you're going to get a sunburn, you know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, between, between everyone here, I mean, it's, I don't know if some of you realize that I'm, I'm a rather easy person to get to know. Um, I'm either very transparent or I'm extremely goofy. And either way, you guys, you know, either laugh or have fun one way or the other. And uh, I think Shelly's realized that so far. <laughs> she laughed at my jokes. That's always good. <laughs> even though the stupid, even the stupid ones, like the peanut joke. That was telling. No, no, no. I can't. It's a quick joke. Two peanuts walking down the street. Here, one was assaulted. It was just she laughed at it. I was like, oh. Of course, she didn't laugh at the, like the 45th time I told it. But <laughs> I guess it does wear on you after a while. But uh, yeah, my friends and, and my sister over there, the Blue Dragon, stand up. No family resemblance, I was told. We don't look anything alike. Nothing at all. That's, she's got long hair, I have short hair. That's, see? Completely different. No, I'm glad she was, she was able to be up here too, because she, she is always working. Um, she's kind of crazy that way. Um, yeah. Else to say, I'm just rambling now. Maybe I should hand it back to Steve. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, oh, you Yeah, one other thing, Myrna, thanks for these. They're going to come in really handy. The one Sunday afternoon, he was over at Aunt Rosie's and I was trying to get marking done, and I was watching the, the Olympic U.S. Canada hockey game on TV. Uh -huh. He was drowning out the commentators. I just turned the volume off. <laughs> but, uh, no, you don't need to defend yourself. You can go around and defend yourself after. And tell all your bad jokes. <laughs> um, we're going to have cake and coffee and juice and everything served there in a few minutes, so um, we'll be standing there and looking kind of wedding-ish or whatever. I think that was the word I heard earlier. Looking married. Looking married. Okay. How do, how do you do that? I guess we'll have to ask you guys since you've been giving us all this advice all along. You don't want to... <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Tight. He's always